In the history of space exploration, few anomalies have puzzled scientists and historians as much as the recent landing of a space rocket on Earth, carrying not living astronauts, but the eerie silence of skeletal remains. How did this chilling mystery unfold, and what does it mean for our understanding of the great beyond? Join us as we delve into the story of this space rocket that touched down with three skeletons on board. Back in the early 1970s, amidst the excitement of the space race captivating the world's attention, the Soviet Union was determined to showcase its technological prowess. This determination led to the launch of Soyuz 11, a mission that held great promise but ended in tragedy. Soyuz 11 was marked by numerous groundbreaking achievements. The spacecraft was tasked with docking with the world's first space station, Salyut 1, intended to host a crew for an unprecedented month-long duration. On June 6, 1971, beneath the vast skies of Kazakhstan, Soyuz 11 embarked on its historic journey, marking the beginning of a mission destined to make history. The spacecraft's sleek design, featuring a spherical descent module and a cylindrical orbital module, captured the hopes and dreams of a nation eager to leave its mark on space exploration. Three courageous individuals, Georgi Dobrovolsky, Viktor Patsev, and Vladislav Volkov, prepared to embark on an extraordinary journey into the unknown, hailed as heroes even before their mission began. As the rocket majestically ascended into space, it became a symbol of human achievement, evoking pride and stirring emotions worldwide. Once in orbit, Soyuz 11 began its journey towards Sally at 1, meticulously planning and flawlessly executing the rendezvous with the space station. The historic docking marked a triumph for the Soviets, being the first successful manned spacecraft docking with an orbital station, sparking euphoria around the globe. Living and working aboard Salyut 1, the cosmonauts conducted numerous experiments, pushing the boundaries of knowledge and contributing to the expansion of human understanding. Life aboard Soyuz 11 presented a captivating blend of breathtaking vistas and a profound sense of aloneness, as the crew found themselves immersed in the vast darkness of space. Each cosmonaut had distinct responsibilities, from orchestrating the crew's activities to overseeing onboard operations and maintenance. Despite the demanding workload, the crew adapted adeptly to the conditions of microgravity and the unique realities of life in space. Letters from the cosmonauts to their families revealed their enthusiasm and profound sense of duty. Despite the challenges, Soyuz 11's crew embraced their extraordinary journey with dedication and a spirit of exploration turning the mission into a remarkable human journey infused with the very essence of human emotions. Communication channels connecting the crew and ground control echoed with laughter amidst the technicalities, as the crew engaged in a historic game of chess in the weightlessness of space, entertaining millions on Earth. However, the endeavor wasn't without its challenges. The isolation, stress, and the gravity of their vital mission loomed large. Limited living space, a lack of privacy, and physical discomfort served as constant reminders of their precarious situation. Yet, in the face of these hardships, the astronauts displayed remarkable courage and resilience, qualities inherent in those who venture into the unknown. Living in space introduced unexpected challenges. Simple tasks on Earth, like moving in microgravity, became intricate maneuvers. Eating, sleeping, and personal hygiene took on new dimensions, demanding adaptability and ingenuity. From their unique perspective, the cosmonauts were treated to awe-inspiring views of Earth. Georgi Dobrovolsky eloquently described a sunrise from orbit as a ring of bright orange light casting its rays upon the Earth, capturing the profound beauty of our planet with its blue oceans, green forests and brown deserts. This view invoked a blend of wonder and homesickness. Life aboard Soyuz 11 was a complex blend of groundbreaking scientific exploration with mundane daily chores and deeply personal experiences. It became proof of the indomitable human spirit's pursuit of knowledge and exploration. Little did they know that the routine life they led aboard Soyuz 11 was about to take an unexpected and tragic turn. The 23 days of dedicated work and groundbreaking discoveries conducted by cosmonauts Dobrovolsky, Patsyev and Volkov were abruptly halted by an unforeseen calamity on June 30, 1971. As Soyuz 11 commenced its journey back to Earth, veiled beneath the serene facade of space, a silent and imperceptible error emerged. Unlike the dramatic explosions or accidents often associated with space disasters, this catastrophe unfolded in a quiet, unseen manner. The spacecraft, which had been their home and workplace for three weeks, began the docking process. The separation of the spacecraft into two modules marked the beginning of the tragic event. The orbital module, where the cosmonauts had conducted their observations and made discoveries, detached from the descent module, designed to withstand the intense heat of re-entry and safely return the crew to Earth. It was during this seemingly routine separation that disaster struck. 
A seemingly inconspicuous cabin vent valve on the descent module malfunctioned unexpectedly, opening prematurely. As the two modules separated, the subtlety of the problem belied its devastating effects. The malfunctioning valve caused the cabin's atmosphere to vent into the cold emptiness of space, exposing the crew to the harsh vacuum. The consequences were swift and fatal. The rapid depressurization of the cabin occurred within seconds, leaving the cosmonauts in a dire situation. With the air rapidly dissipating into the vacuum of space, they had only a fleeting moment to comprehend the impending disaster before succumbing to the effects of hypoxia, the lack of oxygen, and losing consciousness. The tragic end to Soyuz 11's mission serves as a poignant reminder of the delicate balance and unforgiving nature of space exploration. The flaw in the design of the Soyuz 11, leading to the malfunction of the cabin vent valve, was completely unexpected. The cosmonauts were not prepared to handle such a situation, lacking the necessary space suits during the re-entry process. This omission was standard practice at the time due to space and weight limitations within the descent module. Without the protective suits, the cosmonauts became vulnerable to the rapid depressurization that occurred. The sudden silence on the communication channel raised concerns among ground control, but initially the magnitude of the problem was not immediately apparent. Communication disruptions were not uncommon, and it was expected that the signal would re-establish as the descent module entered lower orbits. It wasn't until Soyuz 11 landed as planned, and the recovery team discovered the lifeless bodies of the three cosmonauts that the shocking reality became clear to the world. The crew, once hailed as heroes and pioneers, had tragically lost their lives not in the vast expanse of space, but within the descent module just moments away from their triumphant return. The unseen error had transformed the space capsule meant for exploration and safe return into a silent tomb. This chilling event served as a stark reminder of the immense risks associated with the pursuit of knowledge and the exploration of the final frontier. The Soyuz 11 recovery unfolded in an eerie quiet, casting a shadow over the spacecraft's intended joyous return of triumphant explorers. Instead, it brought back a tragic payload, catching everyone off guard. The usual jubilation that accompanies. A spacecraft's return gave way to a solemn hush resonating the profound loss as the descent module descended through Earth's atmosphere and gracefully parachuted onto the Kazakh steppe. Anticipation filled the air. Recovery team stood ready, expecting the capsule's hatch to open, unveiling the three returning heroes. The module's re-entry went according to plan. The parachute deployed flawlessly, and the landing seemed perfect from an external perspective. However, as the recovery team approached the still-smoking capsule and opened the hatch, they were met with a chilling sight. Inside, Dobrovolsky, Patsayev and Volkov sat motionless, a haunting scene that would linger in the space community's collective memory for years. The pioneers who were the first humans to live aboard a space station had now become the first to meet their demise in space. The news of their tragic fate rippled through the Soviet space program and quickly echoed worldwide. The enormity of the tragedy initially sparked disbelief and shock within the closed circles of the Soviet space program before spreading globally. These cosmonauts, once celebrated as living symbols of human achievement, had suddenly transformed into stark reminders of the immense risks associated with venturing into space. The lifeless bodies were swiftly transported to Moscow, where autopsies confirmed the cause of death as hypoxia, a result of the rapid depressurization in a spacecraft. The examination following their demise revealed that before succumbing, they likely retained consciousness for a brief moment. This realization added a profound layer of seriousness to the tragedy that unfolded. During their funeral in Moscow, the event was somber, marked by a solemn atmosphere. Three caskets draped in the Soviet flag served as a poignant reminder of the thin boundary separating triumph and tragedy in space exploration. Amid the solemnity, the funeral drew a diverse crowd, including fellow cosmonauts, family members and ordinary citizens. Thousands paid their respects to the fallen heroes. The global space community, comprising both mourners and enthusiasts, shared in the grief over the loss of Dobrovolsky, Patsayev and Volkov. However, during the morning, a palpable sense of determination emerged. This heart-wrenching incident underscored the inherent risks and challenges in humanity's quest to explore the universe. Despite the shared grief, the global space community displayed a united front, committed to learning from the tragedy and persisting in the pursuit of space exploration. In response to the disaster, the Soyuz spacecraft underwent significant design modifications to prevent a recurrence. The changes included mandatory pressure suits for the crew during launch, space operations and re-entry. The Soyuz 11 disaster, initially conceived as a symbol of technological triumph, transformed into a symbol of the risks, costs and resilience that define humanity's journey to the stars. 
As the world moved forward, the Sawyer's 11 story took an unexpected turn. Decades later, a startling discovery reignited interest in the legacy of Sawyer's Eleven and its ill-fated crew. This revelation ensured that the captivating and perplexing story of Sawyer's Eleven continued to resonate and perplex the world. The sorrowful saga of Sawyer's Eleven prompted an unparalleled global reaction that echoed the unprecedented nature of the incident itself. From leaders of nations to the common folks, and from scientific communities to everyday citizens, the loss of the Sawyer's Eleven crew resonated deeply across borders and ideological spectrums. This tragic event served as a stark reminder of the collective human risks entwined with the pursuit of space exploration. NASA, the American counterpart to the Soviet space program, extended heartfelt condolences. Administrators and astronauts, including those from the Apollo missions, reached out to express their grief and solidarity. The tragedy went beyond political boundaries, uniting the world in a shared sense of sorrow. International media extensively covered the event, emphasizing the universal fascination and concern associated with space travel. During this global response, the Soviet Union maintained a mostly silent stance while publicly acknowledging the tragic incident and organizing state funerals for the fallen cosmonauts. Detailed information surrounding the event remained withheld from the public. The precise cause of the cosmonauts' demise wasn't immediately disclosed, and it would take years for the true reasons to surface. This silence can be attributed to the secretive nature of the Soviet regime during that era, where space missions were tightly controlled state affairs. Any incidents, especially those hinting at potential errors or flaws in design and execution, were shrouded in secrecy. The immense tragedy that unfolded inevitably sparked inquiries. During the intense space race between the Soviet Union and the United States, the Soviet Union, reluctant to expose its vulnerabilities, faced a challenging situation. Nevertheless, as the global space community collectively enhanced safety measures in response to the Soyuz 11 disaster, the Soviet Union found itself compelled to reassess its space mission protocols. Extensive investigations were launched, leading to significant alterations in the design and safety measures of the Soyuz spacecraft. The sorrowful loss of the Soyuz 11 crew ultimately resulted in improved safety standards, potentially saving countless lives in subsequent space missions. However, the lessons derived from Soyuz 11 extended beyond technical aspects. The tragedy spurred contemplation on the ethical considerations of sending humans into space, emphasizing the necessity for transparency in space programs and highlighting the importance of international collaboration in addressing space-related crises. In shaping the future of manned space exploration, the Soyuz 11 incident played a pivotal role, representing a turning point in space exploration history. In hindsight, Soyuz 11 became a poignant reminder of the inherent risks in space exploration, prompting a renewed emphasis on astronaut safety. This tragic event initiated a series of changes, improvements and introspections that continue to resonate in today's space missions. Let us have your opinions in the comments below. Thanks for watching another episode of Info Paper. While you are still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more quality content.